back here at the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, and it's a very unique time to watch Don Nelson, Jamal Wilkes, and Ralph Sampson all representing the Warriors as they enter the hall here in Springfield, but it's also a great chance to take a look at all of the history here at the Hall of Fame and see how the Warriors are being represented. We also got a chance to talk with the curator here at the hall. The tour of the hall started in the Ring of Honor where Rick Barry has an important ring on display. Absolutely, Rick Barry, one of the great Hall of Famers. Uh, so good to the Hall of Fame, uh, uh, charismatic uh, and, and lucky for us, generous. Uh, we do have his 1975 NBA Finals MVP ring. And Warriors history is all around the hall, including artifacts from some of the game's most legendary events. One of the most significant individual achievements in basketball, really in all of sport, uh, Philadelphia Warriors, Will Chamberlain, 100 points, actually happened in Hershey, Pennsylvania, March 2nd, 1962. Uh, I don't know that uh, any sport can point to a single moment quite like that, especially for individual accomplishment, uh, especially within a, a team sport format. Uh, and the, the jersey resides here at the Hall of Fame, a gift of Hall of Famer Eddie Gottlieb and the Philadelphia Warriors. And I'll tell you this, we will not leave Springfield before we show you the actual site of the birthplace of basketball where James Naismith invented the game. It's just two miles down the road here from the Hall of Fame that bears his name, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. So keep it right here on Warriors TV and Warriors.com.